Kansas United States took the Blue Riband, she stirred in the nation a sense of pride and joy. And William Francis Gibbs also felt it. He had dreamed of this moment for 40 years. And, and he also felt strongly that it wasn't just that he had designed a fast ship. He really saw the ship's symbolism. And he often said that the ship, and he said his quote, that she embodied the strength of, of a free society and individual initiative. After the SS United States captured the illustrious Blue Riband for the fastest transatlantic crossing in both directions over the Atlantic, her name and picture was plastered on newspapers all around the world, and the fame continued to rise and provided an excellent clientele for the SS United States. And in one famous crossing over the Atlantic, the SS United States actually passed the Queen Mary at sea and radioed her famously saying, Sorry, old girl. To which the Queen Mary replied, Your girls really are faster than ours. The SS United States was considered to be so reliable, in fact, that every time she was in New York Harbor and blew her horn at exactly 12 o'clock noon, all of Manhattan would set the times and their clocks in their business offices to her time. For a while, it seemed as though the SS United States had reached a marvelous rhythm, so to speak, in her career, and that nothing could go wrong. What came next marked publicly the end of an era. As the jetliners became more and more successful, drawing away passengers from ships to jets, it became more and more apparent what was happening. On November 7th, 1969, SS United States tied up in New York Harbor ending her career as a transatlantic ocean liner. She had made 400 transatlantic crossings, but with a sinking economy, the United States lines determined SS United States' revolutionary engines were too expensive to maintain, and they sold the ship and retired it. The crew were subsequently laid off, and as a result, the ship was left as is. Tables were still left with plates, Cabins were left uncleaned. Everything was left like a ghost ship. Until, in the early 90s, the SS United States was set to make one more voyage. This time with no passengers, the ship had been labeled by Greenpeace as, quote, the ship of death due to the amount of asbestos used in her construction to make her as fireproof as she was. The removal of this amount of asbestos unfortunately it meant that as a result her interiors were completely gutted as you can see there's nothing left except the bare bones that supported the once beautiful features as someone who appreciates history and loves this ship in particular it's hard to see her in this state but it is still a, something to be thankful for that she's with us after completing asbestos removal ss united states was diverted to philadelphia and has remained in that exact same dock ever since. As the years went by, several attempts were made to save the ship, everything from returning it to passenger service with Norwegian cruise lines, to converting her into a museum, a university at sea, a hospital ship, a troop ship, any option you can think of, it had been offered. Thankfully, with the SS United States Conservancy, awareness has spread like wildfire, it is not all doom and gloom for the future of the SS United States, affectionately and appropriately now nicknamed the Lady in Waiting. There is good news and hope for her future. As we've reached the end of this video, I will announce the future plans for the ship in the third and final part of the SS United States' story. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and stay tuned next weekend for the third and final episode.